So it might be January but when I'm recording this, but and yes, I have got a woolly hat on because it's quite blowy, quite windy today, but actually I've got my legs out and I've got a, a t-shirt on. It's weird, what's going on? It's global warming. So this is my first video of a new year. Yeah, I know. And uh, when I was young, I've been very young, I used to think of New Year's as a really exciting time. What is the, what is the coming year going to bring? It's so exciting. Then fast forward a few years and you get into that stage where New Year is basically just an excuse for a party and for letting your hair down. And clearly, if you see my hair, I've let it down far too much, clearly, over the years. See what I did there? Yeah. Then you get a bit older still and it sort of changes really. You kind of think to yourself, well, it changes completely. You think to yourself, oh no, not another one. I've just got used to one year and then another one is going to come along. It's just too much, I can't cope. And then you get even older still and basically at that stage you're just thankful that you made it through another 12 months. <laughs> Welcome to another year of nonsense running videos and uh, the last few weeks if you've been watching I've been having some special videos we had a guest on the channel and then I had a few weeks where I was looking back at Couch to 5k if you haven't seen those videos be sure to check them out it was great fun to look back but meanwhile I have of course still been going out and running and this is a kind of catch-up video so I feel a sort of montage -y thing coming on what do you think yeah let's do that I'm focused I've been watching for the omens I've been listening to everything you said It's been running through my head Locked and loaded I got the... Here I am in the new forest Just trying to go somewhere a bit different And my wife's on her bike So it should be nice, I like it up here A little bit of a different run Let's see how I get on so welcome to the fire I'm the one with the liar Flame that burned it through your veins As we're walking through the flames Getting higher That's pretty good. One hour, one minute for a 10k. Happy with that? You can tell. You can tell the weather's getting colder. Look, I've got my woolly hat on. And also, look... I've got the very attractive, very attractive long legs on. <laughs> oh, but I look at right side. Waiting for this moment, the final battle of the chosen. See, I'm never gonna quit. Got my legacy set in motion. So welcome to the fire. So as you can see, been going out, been running. Now I thought while those special videos were on, what I would be trying to do is to get out and start running a little bit more frequently. Because if you were watching towards the end of 2021, you will know that my running frequency had dropped back. Well, I wasn't really happy with it. You know, I kind of, I felt like I needed to be going out a lot more frequently. So that's what I thought I would do while those videos were going out. I'd, uh, I'd start working on that. And actually things started off quite well. They did because I started going out a bit more frequently as I'd intended. And then I got a kind of a pain in my ankle, just a little one, not a massive one, but enough for me to think, you know what, I'm going to take a bit of a break. So I kind of stopped. And this coming up next is the run that immediately followed that short break. Let's see what happened. So as I've been describing, I uh, haven't been out for a run for, well, it's best part of three weeks actually. So, but as I said, I feel quite relaxed about it, but super excited to be up in the new forest for my first run. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. This is gonna be just a bit of, um, yeah, just go out, just have a bit of fun, just enjoy it. Just have a kind of a slow, steady run, see where my fitness kind of levels are and just enjoy myself. That's the idea. So welcome to the fire. I'm the one with the Well, that went better than expected, to be honest with you. I've got eight kilometers, but the time's up on the screen. Actually, why not? Old habits die hard. And although the pace wasn't great, to be honest with you, after three weeks, I'm really chuffed with that. In fact, I thought I might only get maybe 
4K, 5K at the most. To get 8K in, I'm really impressed. Or happy, I think is the word. I read somewhere ages ago that after about two weeks of not running, that's when your fitness starts to drop off. And not running for three weeks, I thought, mm, you know, I don't know how I'm going to get on. But I felt great. It was just so nice to be out running again. And uh, it, it was really good. I just kept going. Yeah, it was slow, but I was running and I didn't stop. So that's, that's great. That's ticked my two sort of main boxes. Also on this route in the forest, it sort of goes up and down quite a bit. There are some bits where you are running uphill for a while because it's um, uh, on the way back. You're running down a bit. So, you know, it swings and roundabouts. Although I didn't see any swings or roundabouts. Uh, sorry, I got a bit confused there. So, uh, yes, you know, so that's, that's great. And actually, as I was going up the hills, I thought I felt great. I felt fine. I just kept going. So that's really good. That's given me a little confidence boost because I was a bit disappointed not going out for those three weeks. So really chuffed about that. Really shows that, that I can still do it. And uh, I've got to try and push on from here. So a couple of days after that run, I went out again for about, it was a four and a half K I think that time. So it taught me, I think, as if I didn't already know it, that I can take these breaks if I have to, and it's all good, it's all okay, don't overthink it. And in fact, that's a subject I'll be touching on next week because in next week's video, I'm gonna be talking about my plans for 2022 as I try and get back on track. And really this last few weeks has kind of taught me a few things and I'll be coming back to that and having be interested to know what you think. Anyway, hope you had a great Christmas and New Year if you're watching this when it went out. If it's July, hope you're having a nice summer, unless you're in Australia. Um, Anyway, never mind. So thanks for watching. Tune in next week for more of the same nonsense. And don't forget to leave your comments below because I love to read them. And hit that like and subscribe buttons for more of the same utter nonsense. See you next week. Thanks for watching.